Hello, welcome back to my channel, Billy X Luxury. So today's video is sort of like a showcase of different rings that I have put together that I really like. And I'm hoping that you guys will leave me some comments and let me know what your preferences are, what you'd like, your experiences with wedding ring shopping. If you have any of these pieces, please review them for me. So yeah, help me decide which wedding ring will go. My beautiful engagement ring. So I have been engaged for ages now. I feel like over a year at least. And I haven't really thought about planning the wedding or doing anything too much because um, COVID and like all the weird things going on in the world. But now that life is sort of returning to normal a little bit more, I'm starting to think maybe I need to sort of start looking into things to do with the wedding. First thing I feel like is rings. Like I feel like because I love jewelry, you know, in handbags, I'm like, oh, what ring am I gonna to get to match my engagement ring? So that's the first thing on my mind. Then I guess the next thing will be picking a dress, then a venue, and then blah, 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 all the rest of it. So first things first, I want to look at the jewelry. I have gone through and compiled a pretty big list of uh, wedding rings that I've liked. They're all a little bit different, like different pieces that you may not have even heard of, pieces you may not have seen, because I don't want to just get like the same as what everyone else has, you know? I want something a little bit different, I want something a little bit unique, and obviously something amazing and beautiful. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you my engagement ring so you can get an idea of what that looks like and what would go well with it. So I'll just step away from the camera, otherwise it'll focus on my face. But here is my engagement ring. So as you can see, it is an oval diamond. That focuses a bit better. So the main points about my ring is the fact that it has two hidden halos. It doesn't sort of go down flat underneath. It has, it comes out a wee bit, if you know what I mean. So. I have a Cartier small uh, thin love wedding ring here and I just want to show you what I mean. But when I put another ring on, it doesn't sit flush because the bottom hidden halo is in the way, if you know what I mean. So if I get a ring that is completely straight, it's never going to sit flush next to the engagement ring. So that's the only sort of concern I have with getting a straight uh, wedding band is that it's never going to sit right next to it because of that. Okay, so the first one we're going to get into is the Cartier Love Wedding uh, Ring, but with the Parve diamonds. So pretty much this exact ring, just with diamonds. Then we're going to take a look at Van Cleef and Arpel. We've got uh, some from Chapard. I'm not really sure how to say it. Obviously, my pronunciation of some of these is not going to be correct. Uh, Piaget, Chimay, David Ewerman, and some others. So let's get straight into this video. We'll go through the different uh, rings that I like, the details of them, and some information about the brand, because some of you may not have heard of these brands. You guys can help me decide. Okay, so the first one on the list is the Cartier Love Wedding Band. It is in 18 karat gold. It has 72 brilliant cut diamonds, totaling 0.19 carats and has a width of 2.6 millimeters. This one currently retails in Australia for $7,100. This ring is available in 18 karat yellow gold, pink gold, and white gold, although the white gold is slightly more expensive. So this next ring is the Pearly Sweet Clovis ring from Van Cleef and Arpels. It is in 18 karat yellow gold with 20 round brilliant diamonds in the quality DEF and it has a total carat weight of 0.34 carats and the current retail price here in Australia is $10,400. 
I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of this ring because obviously I can't speak French. So I'll put it up on the screen for you. Uh, this one is another one from Van Cleef and Arpels. It is a three millimeter wide uh, diamond and 18 karat rose gold ring with a diamond bow on the front. It has seven round brilliant diamonds in the colors D, E, F, and a total carat weight of 0.08 carats. The current retail price in Australia for this one is $2,590. This next one is the Graf Signature Parve Diamond Band. It is 2.3 millimeters wide, has a total carat weight of 0.16 carats. Uh, the angled contours are an interpretation of the facets of a diamond. So that is the idea behind this ring. This one is the Josephine uh, from Chimay. It is set in platinum with 39 round brilliant diamonds in the color G and has a total carat weight of 0.28 carats. Isn't this ring incredible? It is part of the Chimay Josephine range as well. It contains five Akoya pearls with a total uh, of 1.70 carats of pearls. It has 27 round brilliant cut diamonds in the color G with a total carat weight of 0.40 carats and it currently retails in Australia for $7,745. This next one is also a Chimay ring. It is in the Be My Love collection. It is the full pave diamonds, or I believe it's full pave diamonds. Uh, it has 28 diamonds in the color G with a total carat weight of 0.43 carats. It is 2.5 millimeters in width and it has a current retail of $6,430 in Australia. Okay, so this next ring is also in the Be My Love collection, but this is the half Parve diamond version. So the idea of this ring is that it is an interpretation of the honeycomb. They are stackable, so they stack really nicely in together with the other Be My Love collection rings. This particular one has 14 brilliant cut diamonds in the color G. It is 2.5 millimeters wide and has a total carat weight of 0.21 carats. This is the Lean's Evidence Ring from Chimay. It is three millimeters in width. It is rose gold and diamonds. It has five uh, round brilliant cut diamonds in it with a total carat weight of 0.02 carats in the color G and it currently retails in Australia for $2,630. And this is the Parve diamond version of the same ring. It has 43 brilliant round cut diamonds in the color G, a total carat weight of 0.51 carats. It is a little bit thicker, so it is 3.4 millimeters in width and uh, currently it retails in Australia for $8,880. This next one is another one from Chimay. It has 26 uh, round brilliant diamonds in the color G and a total carat weight of 0.38 carat. This one here is also in the Chimay Josephine collection. It has 10 uh, brilliant round cut diamonds, a total carat weight of 0.53 carats uh, in a color G, and it currently retails in Australia for $6,760. Watching videos on luxury, design handbags, uh, luxury jewellery, that's the sort of thing I like to talk about on my channel. I like to do unboxings and reviews of my purchases, different things that are coming out, fashion news, things like that. So if this is the sort of thing that you like to watch on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate your support if you guys would get me. This is the Bulgari Serpenti Viper Ring. It comes in a lot of different variations, but this particular one has 0.45 carats of diamonds and it currently retails in Australia for $9,700. Okay, so the next one, uh, the Ice Cube Ring from Chapard. So this is a little bit different. 
They have 100% um, ethical 18 karat gold responsibly sourced and verified against international best practices on environmental and social standards. So their gold is all fair mined uh, gold, which is pretty cool. You can get this ring in a variety of different configurations, but the one that I'm showing you has 0.11 carats. So these rings from David Yeoman are a little bit different and I really like the Renaissance collection from him. So the next few that I'll show you are all from that same collection. This one has emeralds in it. It is 18 karat uh, yellow gold. It is 2.3 millimeters in width and currently retails for 1,790 Australian dollars. This is also David Yeoman. It is from the modern Renaissance collection. It is 18 karat yellow gold. Yeah, with princess cut emeralds on either side. I think there might be four of them actually. Uh, 0.07 carats. I don't know if that is meaning the emerald carats or I'm assuming that is not the diamond carats because it looks like there's heaps of diamonds in it. But I couldn't actually find how many carats the diamonds were um, on this particular ring. Uh, this one currently retails for 5,315 Australian dollars. Okay, so this one is also from David Yeoman. It is the Parve Diamond version of the one that I showed you before with emeralds. It is 18 karat yellow gold. It has a total diamond carat weight of 0.4 carats. It is 2.3 millimeters in width and it currently retails for $2,000 in Australia. Last but not least, we have a ring from Piaget. It is rose gold. Uh, rubies and diamonds in the size small. It is a uh, width of 2.8 millimeters and currently retails for 7,500 Australian dollars. Thank you for checking in today and watching another one of my videos. Please give this video a like, leave me a comment, let me know your preferences. Hope you enjoyed. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, help me get to a thousand subscribers. Thank you for watching and have a great day. See ya.